Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to assign a hot swap for an existing uh, RAID configuration for a virtual disk. So what that means is that in RAID 5, if you have one disk failure, that's okay. But if you have two disks, then the whole array is gone. So I want to assign a hot swap such that when one disk fails, it goes to the hot swap and it rebuilds the RAID array uh, with that basically hot swap disk. So I am in my perk RAID controller and I am going to select virtual disk and I'm going to choose the virtual disk that I'm interested in. So you'll notice this is a RAID 5 and um, you know consists of four disk that is 1.6 gigs total. 1.6 terabytes total. So I'm going to choose this disk array just to show you. So these are four disks. And if I go back to the virtual disk, what I'm going to do is I am going to choose assign or unassign dedicated hot spare. And then I'm going to click on execute. And now for that particular RAID configuration virtual disk, I could choose my hot spare. I happen to know that my configuration consists, consisted of four disks that was 600 gigabytes. So I'm going to choose number eight as the hot spare. And then I'm going to click apply. And now that is the hot spare for that particular configuration. I'm going to return back. And you'll notice here that if I go back here and I say assign or unassign dedicated hot spare and click on execute. You'll notice this is checked and I could unassign it. So that's how I know when it's assigned or unassigned. So now I could unclick it and click apply and click OK. It says not assigning a dedicated hot spare will leave your virtual disk unprotected. So I'm allowed two failures before the actual RAID 5 array is basically unrecoverable. So I am just going to click OK. So that's how you kind of confirm that there was a hot spare was just by going back and making sure that's checked. And now this is unchecked again. So that's how you assign a hot spare to the RAID 5 array that I have because that's the most common array. I am using that as an example and I hope this tutorial helped and uh, please subscribe and help this channel out and thank you so much for watching.